Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial on Power Query, where we'll be diving into one of its powerful features called Append Query. You may want to ask, why do I need to append my data? Imagine you working with data from different worksheets like this. As you can see here, I have data one worksheet and I also have data two worksheets, which they are also the same thing, they have the same header, column header, ID product sales and also ID product sales. ID product sales, which is not uh, which is not ideal. You can see each of these data sets provide valuable insights individually. But to get a comprehensive view and make informed decision, you need to bring them together into a single unified data set like this in this worksheet that I have here that I name complete data. So you need to bring them together so you can you can make informed decision. So this is where appending data comes in handy. So instead of you manually combining each data set, which can be time consuming, Power Query allows you to automate this process efficiently. Because you may have thousands of thousands of rows of them, um, thousands of rows of data, or even going down to millions. So you can't be doing this manually. So Power Query will help you automate this process very easily. So let's just go to Power Query and we would append this data one and data two together. So for you to go to Power Query, the shortcut to go to Power Query is Alt F12. So if you press Alt F12 on your keyboard, it will take you to your Power Query editor. And as you can see, this is my Power Query interface. So I need to bring, I need to bring in the data. So I go to New Source. I go to File. So my data is currently on Excel Workbook. So I'll go to locate my file. So I have it under my Download. So I name the file file append query so i click on it and i will do import so it's currently loading currently loading so i should receive a a navigation pane so i have you can see navigator so i want to select more than one so I, when i want to select more than one you have to check this box select multiple items so I want to go with data one and data two. You can also preview what is inside here. So you can see my data one has rows from one to 20. And also I have data, I have data two, which is 21 to 30. So after picking the data I want to use, I click on OK. So it's going to load it for me. Yeah, so this is my data one and my data two. So I want to bring these two into one. So what will I use? What will I use? So what will I use? So I will just come to, as I said earlier, I will be using append queries. So you can see when you come to this combined, combined group here, so you can see here, combined group here, you will see match queries and append queries. So what I'm interested in is the append queries, append queries. So that's what we'll be using. That's what we'll, so as you can see in data one here, we have 20 rows and data two here, we have we have just 10 rows. So we want to bring two of them together so we can always have do our analysis on just one data set so we can have informed decision. So I will click on the drop down under the append queries. As you can see, I have two options here. So you can see append queries and append queries as new. So what's the difference between these two? Append queries will, when, you, when, when I use append queries, it will append it to this data one. But when I pick append queries as new, it would actually create another another table for me here. That's another query for me here entirely. So let's just see how it plays out. I will use the append queries as new option. So when I click on that, so it will give me this dialog box. As you can see, append and um, concatenate rows from two tables into single table. You know, I told us earlier that it deals with rows. So you can see two tables or three three or more tables. So if you have three or more tables that you want to append, you pick this second option, but I only have two tables. So I'll pick this. So you can see my first table here is data one. So my second table here is data two. So I will select data two because data two I want to append to what I have in data one. So after then I just click on OK. So I click on OK and I, I have my new query here. That's my new table here. And that is that and that is all about appending data. So as you can see if I scroll down, you can now see that I now have my rows from row one to row one to thirty. Row one to thirty. So that's just how simple 
appending your data is in Power Query. So one thing you should note is that when you want to append your data in Power Query, you need to make sure that the column header are the same. That is for data one, your column header should be the same thing, ID, product, and sales. And also data two, if I come, if I come, to, if I come to data two, you can see they are the same thing. So you should make sure that your column headers, they are the same thing in order to avoid error. So I can rename this as a complete I complete data so I can carry on analysis on this and that is all about appending data in power query